We're killing the engine right now. I actually can accelerate. It says 43 miles an hour, but I'm not going that fast. Imagine driving down the highway and all of a sudden someone nowhere near you takes over your car's functions. Well, that's what two cybersecurity experts recently proved can happen. The pair hacked Jeep manufacturer Fiat Chrysler's Uconnect computer system found in an estimated 471,000 cars and trucks. They were even able to cut off the brakes, sending the Jeep sliding into a ditch. The two hackers are writers for Wired Magazine. Driving was a reporter from Wired, which produced this video and then posted it on its website. The automaker says it has released a software update that offers customers improved vehicle electronic security. Well, another breach could be catastrophic for a website that prides itself on secrecy and anonymity. Ashley Madison subscribers pay the site to have access to other married people looking to cheat. Hackers got into the site, which claims to have more than 37 million users. All those people are now at risk of having their details leaked online. That includes photos, conversations, and credit card transactions. Now, one cybersecurity expert says the Ashley Madison hack proves millions of people are dating in the dark when it comes to online security. Now, think about this. How do you know the person you are connecting with is who they say they are? How do you know they're not out to get your bank account instead of your heart? More than 6,400 Americans say they were scammed after visiting online dating sites in the second half of last year. According to the FBI, that fraud cost users more than $80 million. Many of those being targeted are senior citizens longing to get back in the dating pool. Now, people like Janet Cook went looking for love online 17 years after losing her husband. She found a suitor on the very first day after four months of courtship, including emails and phone calls, but never meeting in person. The man who claimed to be a contractor from Virginia was suddenly stuck somewhere in Africa and in serious trouble. He became very ill and um, he was in the hospital. I was really worried about him. I thought the man was going to die. The numbers started to add up and before Janet realized she was being swindled, the 76-year-old widow who was out roughly $300,000. AARP is now warning members that seniors are a prime target for online dating scams. The studies show that as you get older, your ability to decipher deceit declines. That means that as you get older, you have to be even more vigilant. Jen is trying to recoup some of her lost savings from Match.com, the site where the scammer found her. Match.com released a statement saying the company requires users to pledge never to send money or share financial information with other Match users and report anyone who asks for it. Well, scammers targeting other victims are skipping the courtship and heading straight to the bank account. Millions of Americans don't have bank accounts, so they rely on prepaid debit cards to pay the bill. That's how Karen Martin pays her bills, but one day after she loaded $500 onto her card using the Reload It website, her money was gone. Matter of fact, it said I was negative $3.05. In a statement, Reload It says Karen's money was stolen via a fraudulent phishing website cloned to look like the real Reload It website. Turns out she logged on to the wrong one. Here's the real Reload It site. And then here is the fake. The only difference, the fake has an E at the end and doesn't begin with HTTPS. It would ask you to log in with your Reloaded credentials, and then they use your credentials to go to your actual Reloaded account and take your money. To avoid these phishing sites, always look for the HTTPS. The S indicates it's a secure site and you should never enter sensitive information without it. Reloaded agreed to refund Karen the $500, and after four months, that fake site was finally shut down. Mm. Now, somebody has got to put a stop to this criminal activity, especially those targeting senior citizens. And that's where you come in. It's time again for Most Wanted Monday, a portion of the week where you get the opportunity to help local police in getting wanted criminals off Delmarva streets. And we welcome back Lieutenant Tim Robinson of the Lycomico County Sheriff's Office. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for keep having me back. So, you got another one. Yes, we're keeping the streak alive. <laughs> one of our deputies came across Antoine Taylor this past week. Yeah. And one of the reasons we're having so much trouble finding him is he was always lying about his name and the deputy was able to conclusively find out who he was. And not only was the warrant served, 
but he was charged with lying about his name, which he oh. cannot do. Good job. So who did you bring with you today? I brought six more individuals that I'm hoping your viewers know. Let's start and with Devin. Let's see what we got here. First, we got Devin Brown. Uh, he's been wanted ever since he failed to show up for a second degree assault case. And what happened is a bench warrant was issued, and we're trying to find him to get him brought in so he can at least even, he hasn't even answered the charge yet. Uh -huh. So, the Samus Damar Hardy. He is wanted in connection with a felony theft case where he'd already been convicted, yet he has violated his probation, violated the terms of his probation following his conviction. So, we need to get him brought back in. We have a bench warrant issued for Mr. Hardy. All right, tell us about climbing Christopher Kenny. Mr. Kenny, Kwimane Kenny, uh, he is wanted because he was arrested for CDS possession, uh, not marijuana, and he was convicted. He has violated his probation, and then he decided not to show up for his violation of probation hearing. So he's out there somewhere. So if you know where Kwimane Kenny is, please contact Crime Solvers. All righty, Stephen James Wilson. Stephen Wilson, he is wanted in connection with a theft case. A bench warrant was issued in that case when he did not show up for court. So if you know where Stephen Wilson is, for any of your viewers, we last known to be out in the Hebron area. So if you know where he is, please contact Crime Solvers right away. All right. We want you to take a good look at Sean Lawrence Alexander. Yes, Sean Alexander. He is wanted in connection with an attempted burglary case. He, he is found guilty, uh, yet he has violated the terms of his probation. And a bench warrant was issued. We've profiled him at least twice before. We've been getting lots of tips. Sean, if you're watching, we are getting tips on you where these tips are taking us to your house. They're taking us to your mother's place. We know where your family lives. So please, you know, do everybody a favor and turn yourself in. It's only a matter of time. If you knew how many tips were actually coming in for you, you'd be surprised. Now, another guy that you are working real hard to get a hold of is Sean Edward Amos. Yes, Sean Amos. Now, here's the problem with him. He's out here in the wind. This guy is a registered sex offender. He was convicted for possession of child pornography. We don't know where he is. He was checking in regularly as part of the conditions of his uh, conviction. He, he's got to check in. Yeah. He has stopped checking in. We don't know where he is. We're getting, we have gotten a handful of tips on him. We've gotten information that he's, he's, he's in Fruitland, he's up in Del Mar, he's left the state. Uh, we've had officers visit in places in uh, North Carolina, places in Ohio. The U.S. Marshals have even gotten involved in this. Just so yeah, th we're, we're, we're doing a lot of work yeah. to get this guy in. So if he's watching, he, he might behoove him to turn himself yeah. in so we don't have to quit bothering his family and his friends. Mm -hmm. All right, so Facebook, you're on Facebook, yes, Crime Solvers, are. and you can actually go back and look at these pictures yeah, there. Yeah, many of these pictures are on here, um, as well as the uh, Crime Solvers organization. They do run a Facebook page, and they put these folks on here, and as well as many of our law enforcement partners mm -hmm. that we work with, they have many of their wanted people on their Facebook pages. So it's incredible the power of Facebook. Matter of fact, recently the Sheriff's Office has put want, uh, help us identify pictures on Facebook right. and both times in, in the past week people have instantly sent us messages saying who they are. So it's, it's incredible the power of Facebook. Everybody's on it. But for a wanted fugitive, yes. you've got to call in. Yes, if you if you know where these wanted fugitives are and you want to get in a pipeline for the reward, you must call that phone number. And the beautiful thing about it is nobody knows your name. We don't know your name. We don't ask your name. We have no way of even tracking mm -hmm. where this phone call came from. No caller ID is used. All we want is this information. Give us that last piece of the puzzle to get these people brought in, especially Sean Alexander mm -hmm. or Sean Amos. We okay. want them want both. Them Thank you so much. 1776. Thank you, Lieutenant Tim. Thank you. Now, if you'd like more information on Crime Solvers, just go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. It would be hard to see the fugitives in Most Wanted Monday, or any part of Delmarva Life for that matter, if you didn't have over-the-air reception. If for those who have that problem or maybe just don't like paying for satellite service or cable, Rabbit TV may be the thing for you. The ads claim it can turn any computer into an entertainment system. So we put it to the test next. Who wants to watch their favorite TV show without something to munch on? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Today, we're in the Delmarva Life kitchen making broccoli beignets. And next time you are making guacamole dip, 
you want to make sure you have today's handy how-to tip in the back of your head. That's coming up a little bit later on. Del Marva Life. We'll be right back.